Welcome back to my channel, Sharon's Nail Boutique. We're the first one. Thank you so much. And right after you, we have Kathy Wellman to be second place. I love you guys. Shout out to them and go follow their channels. And so this video, we're going to show you my special box. It's a PR box that was picked just for me. And I got the box of Life of a Rose. I got two special poly gels that was picked out just for me. And I'm just so grateful. This box is so beautiful. I love roses. Here's a little message they send me. It is so nice. I, it said a special PR kit made just for you. There's a whole bunch. And then Life of a Rose, a set of four poly gels. So I only got two. I'm looking forward to see who else got this box because I know there's so many talented nail artists out there. I'm not going to be using these dual forms because I got some stiletto dual forms that I want to show you how to use. But yes, this, um, this is Slip Solution slip cleanser but you guys could use alcohol based gel if you guys don't know how to do that just go to my last video and you will see how to use base gel these are actually really big bottles i am loving this color i love these bottles i love this color so much it's like a maroon kind of like an auburn color and it's so pretty i think i have like seven of these brushes now and they're all different colors i don't think i ever run out with these brushes <clears throat> and first thing i have a little mini layup this is the cutest thing i love this and ever since i've gotten it i've been using it all i've done is like plug it into my computer next to me and it's just it works it's like a really really powerful little lamp also in this video i will be showing you about these dual forms Thank you, Miss Sassy, my nail sister, for telling me about stilettos because I cannot stand sit here taking my forever to shape stilettos. So I'm going to be using this today to do my nails. So if you guys know, I I am diabetic and I have problems with lifting all the time. So what I do is I prep, I remove that chai and I push back my cuticles and I use my Tammy Taylor primer before I put my base gel on. It's just what I have to do in order for me to wear, you know, any poly gel because if I don't put primer on, then it doesn't last long on me. So that's all I do. One coat of Tammy Taylor and then I'm going to apply this base gel. And we're going to do this very thinly. And we're going to use this little lamp that they gave me. But I accidentally used a big lamp at first. Because I'm so used to like these big old lamps. So forgive me. I wasn't really paying attention. Plus I didn't really have it like plugged in at the time. So I was definitely like, oop. I forgot to plug Little Miss Thing up. Okay, so this is pretty easy. You just go ahead and plug it in. Um, it's not hard to plug in, not like the other ones. I think this is so cute. So I did plug it into my computer because it's like right next to me, but it doesn't come with like an adapter box. So you'd have to use like a cell phone box or, or something. But um, this stuff is like, this lamp is really powerful. I mean, it's not going to do all your nails at the same time, but let me just tell you, uh, huh, it's powerful and it cured this poly gel. So just to be on the safe side, I actually pressed the button twice just to make sure it's cured all the way. But with the base gel, it did cure with just but one click. So I'm really impressed because a lot of the small ones, they don't like push out a lot of power. But if you can see this little lamp and how bright it is, it's pretty powerful. So I'm really excited that I finally got me a little mini lamp. Moving on, I think this one is called Bud and it is a cover pink and I love this color cover pink is life you can do anything with cover pink and i just love it so this time we're not going to use base gel because they did provide you know a little slip solution for this so i do recommend you to use 71 percent alcohol if you don't have a base gel it works the same way but don't saturate your brush because if you do that you're going to create bubbles and it's going to break down the poly gel it's going to be like too sticky it's just gonna be a mess like I don't like that so I do love my card because my cards poly gel is a little bit on the firm side but as soon as you see 
where it starts to get sticky on the brush, that's when you need more solution or mint warm base gel. And I wanted to have this pink in the background of all my nails, but I really got carried away. So this one is rose and oh my goodness, I don't think that this camera is doing any justice of this color. This color is like a hot pink. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. It's so bright it's not a jelly pink it's opaque it is so pretty i love it i love it i am in love okay i didn't cure the pink yet because i didn't want it to pop out of the dual form but if you was to go gently over the pink part you don't have it, it won't ruin it just make sure you're doing it like gentle not like hard because you don't want to leave any indentions in like the pink you know you don't want no shadows so that's what I do now this part I wish I would have done with the base gel because I felt like if I did it with the base gel it would have like been more smoother but it's okay because we do have a quite a bit of a layer of the cover pink on the bottom and with these dual forms this dual forms I love it has that little you know handle little tiny little handle that you could hold it onto but I'm not gonna lie I'm not used to it and I felt like when it went down to the smaller sizes, I was like touching the poly gel and I had to go back and fix it. So this is definitely, um, I need to get like used to working with these type of pop like dual forms. I don't like dual forms, but today I wanted to cheat. So yes, and here it is. Usually I flip it backwards just to make sure that I got everything because the last thing you need is to have like an air pocket and then you'd have to go back. So I always have to go back anyways, but like if you're just doing this and you don't want, if you don't like to go back and fill up the missing pieces and you just want to rely on the dual form, then you'd really have to just sit here, take your time and make sure that every corner is covered and you have enough on the side walls and you have enough on the tip because if you don't have enough on the tip or on the side walls, it's going to be too thin. And then it's gonna make it to where it like cracks off but like I said this little lamp is pulling some power and I at first I was like man this little lamp is not gonna do anything for me <laughs> but it did and I was impressed I was really really impressed about this little lamp so I love it I'm gonna be using it in every video I hope you don't mind but yes I cured this about twice and um it didn't say it didn't come with instructions it didn't say anything about the lamp so i'd have to like do my own research of how many watts this lamp is but as soon as i find out i'll make sure that i put it in this description box there just wasn't like a paper that said anything and if it was maybe i probably threw it away out of excitement because that's what i do <laughs> but yeah after i cure this before i pop off the dual form i come here and i fill up all the gaps and I straighten the little free edge over here because that's where it pops off the most um, right where the apex is too thin and especially the side walls like you could have a very nice apex but if your side walls are too thin it's still gonna crack off on those ends so make sure that if you do make a mistake don't leave it there you know just because they're two forms and they're easy that doesn't mean that um that's all you do. There's process to this dual forms and you you do got to um you you got to work with it. So I did cure this about twice like I said and we're just going to be ready to pop these dual forms off. It took me quite a quite a minute because they're like flat and not used to these. Okay. So here's what it looks like. Look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness, the apex is where it needs to be. And the side walls are nice and thick at the ends right here. The only thing I'm actually concerned about is the tip of the form. So I'd probably like take my, you know, clear poly gel and then maybe like add a little bit a layer, maybe some gel, add a layer on the tip because it looks a little bit too thin for me and I'm just too clumsy i need strength <laughs> i need that thickness so what i do is i take all the dual forms out first i fill them up and then i just put them on i really love this pink oh my god this pink is speaking to me it is so pretty it reminds me of their jelly pink 
I don't know if you guys seen they're like hot pink jelly pink it looks like the same color but this one is opaque it's not a a jelly or anything I really love these dual forms I hope that these dual forms last long on me but if they don't I'll I'm still interested on using them just to make me like you know tips because the less filing the better and I, I just hate filing that's why I don't file on camera because the dust kind of like irritates me and makes me um itchy and just it's just everywhere after I did this set then I was just like man I wish I would have put some glitter in these I wonder how it would have been if I would have mixed this pink up with like some iridescent glitter I think that would have been like so pretty but I was so into this pink I as soon as I got the package and as soon as I opened up and I see my name I I, I like kind of yelled I was like oh my god <laughs> it just means a lot to me especially now what I've been going through with my mom and you know her health and if you're in my group then you know you're up to date but if you're not then you're you know I'm pretty much sure you're wondering what's going on with me at the moment um i've been through quite a bit i there, there's a lot of i've been through and i just want to say thank you for everyone that um remains in contact with me and um are always asking and always checking up on me it means a lot that people care you know it's been real i'm just saying it's been that i've been very depressed and you know just my mind has been racing and I've been so like confused a little you know what everything's going on i don't think i'm the only one going through this i'm definitely feeling the energy of the world right now but because of my group and because i have so many of you that support me you know i i'm going through this but i feel like i'm not alone and i feel like i have family and i have sisters and i love all of you i've grown so attached to so many of you there's so many of you so if I don't answer right away, I am so sorry. I try my best to answer you guys, but there's just so many of you. And if I was to sit there and just go through all my messages, I'd be there for hours. And then, <laughs> you know, I, I would forget what I need to do. So um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that you know continue to stay in the group you're you're continue to post in the group and help each other and always loving i don't like any of the negativity i just can't handle it right now so when mccart sent this to me i felt like this was the perfect time for me to get this box because we've been going through a lot of family problems with my mother and um and her cancer and you know she's been so strong and we've been so strong so it did come back but test results came back saying that um they caught it on time again so she doesn't have cancer anymore it went away there's no more cancer in her body and that's because i feel and i believe that everybody prayed for her in the group and i just wanted to say thank you so much my mother is okay now and that we can move on with our lives you know she's still you know healing from her incisions because they did have to remove parts of her intestines because she had it in her intestines so she, you know i'm just proud to be her child i'm proud to be her daughter because she is the strongest woman i know and i just want to say i love each and every one of you and i thank you guys for your love and for your constant you know support in the group if you're not in my group what are you waiting for <laughs> if you need help if you want to talk you know i feel like that is my you know place where you know if i'm having a bad day i just go there and i i get lifted always always by you guys and like i said you guys you know are just the sweetest ever and i just i'm just so grateful to have you in my group and have you in my life when i got this box it just put everything together it was like here you go you know it kind of like soothed my heart a little bit and i'm very grateful so thank you mccart for sending this box to me and choosing this just for me because you are on point you know i love my pinks <laughs> and i love these look how good these are on now i do 
feel like they need to be a little bit thicker. But the dual forms are not curved. So um, if you do get these and, you know, they're too thin for you, I would just, you know, file them. Make sure you get all the shine, add your base gel again, and then like put another layer on with clear. And then you will have your thickness and they don't, they won't pop off. But yeah, I'm using this file because I know I heard from another, you know, um, subscriber saying that the files that come in the kits don't work. This file does. And so we're going to show you how I actually do this. So this is like real time, how, what I do. And I do file using the, um, the hand file, but then after a while I get lazy and then I come with my e-file. So this is one of my favorite ceramic bits that I got from Amazon. I believe it is from a cart. I think it is from a cart. I'm going to have to look at that up because I have a lot of ceramic bits. But this is a safety bit ceramic bit. And it's not supposed to heat up on the nail. But I'm just letting you know. If you keep it on one spot, you're going to feel that friction. So <laughs> don't test that theory out. But oh yes, I like the round ones because I like to smooth around the cuticle area to remove all that excess stuff and of course with my small little nail beds i always leave parts out so what i'm doing now is i'm actually like re-prepping the cuticle area so i could go back and put poly gel on the parts that i missed because the dual forms were you know too small or they were just a little bit too flat for me but um i really like these dual forms and i have no complaints about them i, I really love them plus they're stilettos and if they don't work for me all the time, I could at least use them for, you know, a tip. And then I have stilettos. So all I'm doing is roughing up the surface, getting all the shine up. So I could go ahead and fix and cover up all those little, you know, parts that were missing the poly gel. It looks something like this. And the most important part to keep in mind is when you file, you have to remove all of the dust from your nails. All of it has to be removed. If you see more, take it off because that dust will make your poly gels lift. It would like, it would lift. It would be awful. So make sure that you, um, you clean it out. Don't leave any dust behind because that is that's that's really bad if you leave dust behind and you just like put base gel on top of it and then poly gel it's not gonna work it's not it's not so in this part because my cuticle areas look like they need some help i take my cuticle bit and this is also a ceramic bit from a cart it all came in a kit from my cart this one's my favorite one i don't know the size of it but i've been using it for quite a bit of time and I'm going to just rough off these areas right here because like I don't even feel like there's base gel on there. Also, this is really good to remove any axis like poly gel that you have on the cuticle area or your eponychium. If it's on the skin, it's going to lift. So be careful about that too. I just love this tool. I feel like this tool is like this bit cleans up very, very well. And it gently removes all your dead skin from that cuticle area. And again, wipe off and make sure no dust is there before you put the base gel. So I'm coming back with my Tammy Taylor. Because like I said, I am a problem lifter. And this is the only primer that I use that I could tell you it is the best. I, I, I love Young Nails Primer. I love my Janari primer. I love all of them. And they all work very, very good. But Tammy Taylor is my holy grail. And I won't go back. <laughs> I found me a primer that works with me. And it doesn't irritate me. And it lasts long. When I wear acrylics, they last long. And when I have poly gel, they really last long. So we're going to take the base gel again after Tammy Taylor primer. Or after your primer dries and gives you that sticky layer. You got to make sure it dries. 
okay and then you're just gonna take your base gel and you're gonna fill up those little holes and those little things that you're missing like I said just because they're dual forms and people make it look like they're easy you have to maintenance them after you pop them off they, they don't pop off perfect if they do you still have to file a little bit it's never perfect so because you're fixing them you don't want to you know take a lot because it, it this stuff is like very very like thick so a little goes a long way now if this was clear then i would have like gone all the way from like cuticle area all the way to the tip because i do need that extra strength but i didn't want to do that i just wanted to see how long i will last with it being that thin so you do want to pick up just a little bit at a time and you want to blend it with the rest of it so that's why i said you make sure that the base gel goes all the way down because the last thing you need is just to put the base gel in that area and then you know you go file and then the poly gel starts to like scrape off because there's no base gel so make sure the area that you need to be fixed has base gel all the way like to the tip so when you do drag all that axis off and you go file you know the base gel is is there and you're not filing away at the poly gel that is though I, I do that all the time i forget and when i go to file it files away the base gel if i was actually away the the poly gel from the area that i didn't have base gel in and then i'm back here fixing it again <laughs> So yeah, it is a process. It's not a, it's not easy. I know everybody's just like, well, you know, poly gels are easier than acrylics and doing dual forms is easier than acrylics. And I just feel like it's not, it's not easier than acrylics at all because with acrylics, you could just pick it up, you know, you blend it, good, file, you're done. But with poly gel and dual forms, if you make a mistake, you have to go back, you have to fix it and it takes you longer, you know? So... I don't feel that it's um, it's more faster than acrylic or, or gel. I feel like it has its own has its own time, and if you're a beginner, it's you could easily get like really frustrated. So you know, like, do watch some videos, and you know, everybody's way is different. There is actually no way of doing this right. Just you know, like, make sure that your prep and your sanitation is on point, and whatever way you decide to do it if it works that's the right way also to keep your brush healthy and for it not to like poof up um you want to go ahead and clean it with the gel cleanser that they send you and make sure that you clean it really good you get all the poly gel and of course after you're done remove all dust from your nails and then top coat i did use the top coat but i didn't record that part because somebody had called me but this is what a nails look like when it's done oh my god i just love it this pink is life this pink is everything for me and i love this cover pink i might just like use the cover pink just by itself i did marble it I didn't record that part because like i said i had left and then i came back to do my other hand but let me know what you guys think oh my god Makar, i love this kit that you put together you guys are awesome i love you guys so much you guys thank you for watching and let me know what you think about this life of a rose box let me know i just love it i love the cover pink look at that look how this these stilettos look wow i love these forms thank you sassy for letting me know about the dual forms you are a lifesaver i love you you guys thanks for watching and let me know what you guys think in the comment below don't be shy and find me in my group you guys because we talk a lot we're always there and i know i'm beginning a lot of people asking me about my my little jewel here i got it engraved at a jewelry shop well my boyfriend did he got it engraved for me for christmas all you gotta do is go to a jewelry shop and they do it i think it was like 70 dollars. i'm not really sure but the the paperweight we got at michael's and so yeah hook me up look, look me up at facebook and if you want more information about my diamond just look me up on my group and find me in my group and ask and i'll answer i love you guys and thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one thanks for watching see you